now. I'm really excited about this next one. This is also new. WDRB is the first FAA-approved drone flown in an air show. We have a four-man crew here operating the drone for us today, and it should give us some really unique perspectives on Thunder. So our drone will be flying anywhere from 250 to 300 feet, capable of flying up to 1,500 feet. We just saw uh, the man that was flying that drone. We have a four-person crew. I like this. This drone can fly up to 45 to 50 miles per hour. Pretty cool, Candace. Yes, it is. Our drone is up. So let's give you a live picture of the great lawn. Beautiful, Candace. Oh, people are already staking out their spots for Thunder. There were people up here on the Belvedere with the, like police tape marking their spots when we got here this morning at 9 o'clock. But it's already starting to fill in, and we'll just see it be packed by the end of the day, I'm sure, because of this perfect Thunder forecast. Well, let me tell you a little bit about this drone that we're taking a live look from. WDRB is the first television station approved by the FAA to fly a drone during an air show. So this is something we're very excited about, flying about 250 to 300 feet today. It's capable of flying at 1,500 feet, but we want to get you close to the action. Now, a four-man crew is flying this drone. It includes a pilot, camera operator. Of course, you need a spotter in all air communications because a drone, even though it's small, has to abide by the same regulations that an airplane or a right. helicopter does. And certainly we don't want any interference with an air show coming up a little bit later today. But we'll show you that picture again as we move through the day to enjoy the show. That tonight's gonna be a good night. That tonight's gonna be a good, good night. Tonight's the night. Hey, let's live it up. Let's live it up. 